Hey y'all, welcome back to the party. It's your girl Rit Reacts, and today we are reacting via a kind suggestion to Brian Justin Crum, or is it Crum? Covers Whitney Houston's "I Have Nothing." Lord, let's see what he has to sing. If you know, you know how I feel about Whitney. And if you watched, I think the only other reaction I've done to this gentleman, you, you know that I was almost on the floor because his voice is outstanding. So I'm trying to mentally prepare and gather my, my, my life. <laughs> Let's see. I love what he's wearing. I love that in the beginning you could see him. He was also preparing. I was preparing to listen and he was preparing to sing, which I think just shows the amount of respect that this song garners from any any artist. Um, this song vocally is probably one of the hardest to perform, in my opinion. Um, one, because I think of the pressure and the expectation and the standard that is set. I think if you if you dare right perform this song, you better come correct. And then two, I just think <clears throat> it's a complex song to sing the further into it you get. So I appreciate like his preparation and the seriousness of which I think he stepped into this performance. I love this. I love what he's wearing. It feels like a traditional garb of some type. Um, and then I really love his diction. I just think he's really open in his diction and he's completing every every word and not throwing anything. Um his breaths and breaths and pauses and beats are are right on time and it just feels right now effortless so let's keep going i don't really need to look very much further i don't want to have to go where you don't follow i won't hold it back again this passion inside can't run from It does. It seems effortless. I will say, and I don't know if a lot of people know this, but typically when an artist does a cover and then they do a video like this, they are lip syncing in this video, which I believe that he is. They usually will record it in a studio, which is, you know, it's a live recording. It's not like it's, it's any different. And then they'll film a video <clears throat> um, to the recording. There's a lot of reasons why they do that. Most of that is time, cost, and production, and all that stuff. And when you're filming a video, you need to do all different types of angles. So to ask him to sing this over and over and over, anyone to sing anything over and over and over when you have to get all different types of angles and different cuts and takes and stuff like that can be a lot. Um, and so typically these are pre-recorded. Um, I say all that to say it doesn't matter whether he's lip syncing it or not. You can still see. I think they when they lip sync, they intend to perform it the way they would perform it in the studio or on stage. And you can tell like he's so relaxed in his body. His body language is so relaxed that it just is like this is his wheelhouse. He's not pushing or overexerting. This is his wheelhouse. This is right where his voice belongs in these in this key. And um 
you know, you just typically don't see a man who can who can sing up there like that. So I just think it's fantastic. Oh, hello. There we go. I have nothing, nothing, nothing if I don't have you. Ooh. I love when people step away from Whitney's take on it. thing is when an artist can cover a song and pay homage tribute and honor did I say honor tribute no I said homage tribute and honor to an artist without feeling like they're trying to a mimic exactly what they did or outdo what they did or anything of the sort I feel like this is the perfect perfect example of how to cover someone's song it doesn't I don't feel like he's trying to keep up with Whitney in a race I don't feel like he's trying to mimic all of her riffs trills runs all these things and I don't feel like he's trying to um, be better than her. I just feel like he is singing it in the way that it is coming to him. And his choices are so gorgeous. Oh, they're so beautiful. I don't really need to look very much further. I don't want to have to go where that. you don't follow. I won't hold it back again. There's passion inside. Can't run from myself There's nowhere to hide Your love I remember forever Don't make me close Take it up I don't want to hurt anymore Stay in my arms If you dare I must I imagine you there um, not to keep comparing it to Whitney, but I'm just going to because this song is like, it runs through my veins. I think when Whitney sang it, it was always from a, like a, her mouth was rounded and it was, stay in my arms, do you love? Right? It had that like, on it. But his is so open and like bright and, and youthful and, and boyish and, and it almost makes the song feel different. Like hers was almost like a pleading, like, right? Like, don't you dare walk away from me. And his is almost kind of like, I've accepted it, kind of. Like, stay in my arms if you dare, but just don't imagine. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, I've accepted whatever the fate is going to be, where Whitney is like, the fate is me telling you to don't you dare walk away from me. <laughs> um yeah, that's what I feel. I, I love this. Don't walk away from me. I have nothing, nothing, nothing. Don't make me Pick it up. Perfect, 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 perfect. If perfect. I don't have you, you. y'all see that? Because that is like probably 
one of my favorite moments of the song. The you that how it comes back around is like and it doesn't matter who's singing it, how they're singing it, what key register, I don't care. It always feels the same. That whoosh, that comes around in that release is insane. Justin, you did it justice. Justin, you did it justice. Justin, I always call him Justin. I know his first name is Brian. But in my mind, in my mind, you, you see, you see, I'm okay. In my mind, in his house, they call him Justin. He looks like a Justin to me more than he looks like a Brian. <laughs> Justin, Mr. Brian, Justin, you did it justice. And I appreciate it. That was gorgeous. There's nothing else for me to say. Um... I want you to go to have the day you deserve though. Peace. Hey y'all, before the video ends, I just want to let you know merch is here. Well, it's coming. It's just a few days. <laughs> the Have the Day You Deserve collection is on the way. It is available July 4th for all Patreon members and July 11th for everyone. I have left a preview here on the screen for you. I hope you are as excited as I am and I hope to get to see you in the merch. Go and have the day you deserve.